Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.16 from the chapter number 3. The problem is simplify the following boolean functions and implement them with two level NAND gate circuits. That means we have to use NAND gates after simplification to make the logic circuit and we have to Keep in mind that we have to make it two level. That means, suppose two stays, suppose one level of NAND gate and next level of NAND gate up to that we can use. We cannot go to up to three level. So let us solve these problems one by one. We are given with a four variable expression. Okay. So A, B, C, D are the four variables. So we have to put these expressions in this four variable map and we have to simplify after simplification, we will make the two level NAND gate circuit. So, in the first problem, we are given with A bar, B bar, C. So, A bar is this two row, okay, A bar, B bar. A bar, B bar means this first row because A and B both are 0, 0, okay, this first row. And C, C is the third and the fourth column, okay, so we have to put here 1 and 1. Next, we have A, C bar. A is this two row, third and the fourth row, okay, A is third and the fourth row. And then we have C bar. C bar means first column and the second column. Then we'll have 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, let us repeat it. A, C bar. A means this third row and the fourth row. And we have C bar. C bar means because this third and the fourth column are the C. So these are the C bar because we can see that C are both are 0, 0 here for this column. Then we can see that these four blocks are the common blocks. Okay, common squares. Therefore, we have put here one values. Then we have A, C, D. A, C, D. C, D means C and D both are 1, 1. Okay, A, C, D. So, this third column. C, D means third column and the A means the third and the fourth row. So, we'll have to put here 1 and 1. Then we have A, C, D bar. The C, D bar means fourth column. Okay, then we have A. That means we have to put here 1 and 1. A means these two row. Then we have A bar, B bar, D bar. This A bar, B bar means this first row because both are 0 0 okay first row and d bar means this first column and the fourth column okay so we'll have one here we have already one here okay now let us simplify it okay now let us combine it how we can combine so first combination will be this one okay this one is the first combination then we can see that we have this combination okay then we can combine like this okay now we can write down the sum of winter's expression from this combination we will get it is a a plus then we have from this term suppose this term we will get we will have b bar and c b bar c okay then we will have this all the corner values okay all these corner values from this corner values we will get b bar and d bar plus b bar d bar so this is the simplified function now in the question it is given that we have to use nand gate only and we have to use two two stages nand gate okay that means we can use nand gate in two stages only okay so what we can do here so this if we take two times complement then we will get the same term because a a complement is A bar and A bar complement is again A. Using De Morgan's theorem, suppose from this in inner term, because this A plus B plus C whole bar, we can write it as A bar dot B bar C whole bar dot B bar D bar whole bar and whole complement. Now let us draw the logic diagram from this function. So we have A bar, okay, we can see that A bar is only there. So this is a bar line then we have b bar so b bar is this line we do not have b okay so c is c we have so c is this line and we have d bar d bar this line okay so what we can do a is this one b bar c b bar is this one so b bar c whole bar so b bar c and get it will be b bar c and if we use a bubble it will be nand get so we'll get b bar c whole bar here okay then we'll have b bar d bar whole bar 
b bar so this is d bar okay so here we'll get b bar d bar whole bar okay then we can use a three input nand gate okay and we'll get here the function f so the input will be this three okay so this is the solution of the first part of the problem so here we can see that we have two states this is the one stage this is the next stage okay so we have used two stages nand gates to realize this simplified expression now let us solve our second problem in the second problem we are given with this sum of min terms expression so let us put this in this table and then we will, then we will simplify this expression okay so a b a b means this whole line okay so we have to put here one 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 then we have a bar b c a bar b a bar b means the second row because a bar b okay a bar b is second row okay then we have c c means this third and the fourth so we have one here then we have a bar b bar c bar d okay a bar b bar means this first row okay then we have c bar d c bar d means this second column then we will have this one here so how we can combine it so we can combine like this so this will be one term this will be second term and this will be the third term so f we can write it as suppose let us first write this term we'll have we cannot combine this one with any other ones so we have to select single from this one we'll get it is the same with this this one because it is not combined with any other else so we'll write here a bar b bar c bar d plus from this combination what we'll get we'll get a b and from this third combination what we'll get we'll get b and c b c we have to take two times complement and we'll um, and we'll break one complement using de morgan's theorem we'll take two times complement because two times complement means the same it will becomes the same term okay so we have to use here for this inner part of this expression in our complement we will use de morgan's theorem and we'll write down as a bar b bar c bar d whole bar into a b whole bar into b c whole bar and we have a further complement okay so we have to now we have to draw the logic diagram so how we can draw it so we have input a and a bar both are there so okay a a is this line so we will use an inverter so we'll get here a bar okay then we have b b and b bar is also there so b and inverter will get b bar here okay then we have c and c bar c and c bar okay then we have d d we do not to we need not to use any inverter because we have only d in this expression no d bar now we will draw the two level nand gate circuit from this function so a bar b bar c bar d a bar b bar c bar d okay use here a nand gate and we'll get here a bar b bar c bar d whole bar okay then we have a b bar this is a okay and this one is b use a nand gate and we'll get here a b whole bar then we have b c whole bar we have b and c use a nand gate and we'll get here b c whole bar then we will use here a three input nand gate and we'll get here the function f okay the input will be this three okay because these are all multiplication one two three these three terms are in multiplication and we have a whole complement this com this is nothing but the complement okay so this is the solution of the second part of this problem now let us go to our third part of the problem in the third part we are given with this function so this is the product of max terms expression so this is the product of max terms expression so we have to put here zeros for this max term values a bar plus b bar plus c so okay so a bar is this line okay 
then we have b bar plus c bar so b bar c bar okay so this will be zero then we have a bar plus b bar a bar is this row okay then we have b bar b bar means okay let me write down a this is b this portion is c so a bar plus b bar a bar is this row and b bar is first two column so we'll put here another zero already zero is there then we have a bar plus c bar a bar is this row and c bar is first and the fourth column okay so we'll put here zero so we can combine like this and we can combine like this so here we have used zero therefore we have to write it as f bar okay f bar from this term what we'll get we'll get a bar b bar a bar b bar plus and from this term what we'll get a bar and c bar a bar c bar okay then if we find out f what we'll get we have to take complement okay a bar b bar plus a bar c bar all complement okay so what we'll get using de Morgan's term we'll get a bar b bar sorry this one is a okay a bar b bar whole bar into a bar c bar whole bar now let us break it what we'll get a bar b bar plus b bar okay then we have to multiply it with a bar plus c bar so a plus c So from here what we'll get it is a plus a c plus a b plus b c so from here what we'll get a whole into one plus c plus from here what we'll get a b plus b c so it will be a plus a b okay plus b c so from here again we can take a common so we'll get a plus b c so this is the simplified expression now if we take two times complement what we'll get we'll get the same term as this one a plus bc a bar dot bc whole bar okay and whole complement so how we can write it now we have to make the logic diagram for this expression so what we'll get we have a bar one input a bar okay then we have b okay then we have c so a bar is this line then we have b c b c okay we have whole bar okay so we'll use here and get and we'll get b c whole bar here then we have to multiply it with and then we have to again take a complement here okay because this complement is there so we'll get here the function f so this is the solution of the third part of the proof so this is the given expression we have here four input variables so we will make a four by four map okay so let me draw it first zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero so a b c d okay so this one is a this one is b this is c and this part is d so we have to put this values here a bar b a bar b means this row okay so we'll put here one 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 okay then we have a a means this whole two column one 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 okay then we have c bar c bar means this first and this second column one one because this all are already filled okay so need not to write it again so we have d bar d bar means this first and the fourth row first row is already filled up okay so we'll have to put here one now if we see this all value are filled except this because that means this value has a zero here you have to see how we can completely simplify it because these are all filled all the other boxes are filled except this 
okay first row third column so if we consider this value then we'll have a much simplified expression so for zero what we have to do we have to write it as f bar f bar equal to will be f bar will be this term okay so f bar will be a bar b bar c d a bar b bar c d so this is the zero term okay so if we consider this zero okay we can now neglect it okay we are now we are finding out using zero that means we are using zero here okay we will get a bar b bar c d okay so f will be it will be complemented a bar b bar c d okay this will be whole bar now we can implement this function using nand get easily very easily because if we try to solve this the previous expression from the sum of mean terms will it will be very much complicated okay so from here what we can do we have a bar okay then we have b bar so we'll draw a nand get here okay we'll get here f and one input will be a bar okay the second will be b bar then we have c and we have d okay so this is the logic diagram or circuit diagram of this given function so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you